Welcome to the One Minute Apologist. One Minute Apologist. We interview the world's leading apologists to provide credible answers to curious questions. How do scientists derive the dates they use for Adam and Eve? Okay, so the way uh, that uh, the conventional approach to dating Adam and Eve is uh, to use the molecular clock approach. And the molecular clock approach says mutations accumulate in a clock-like way. Mm -hmm. And so the more time, the more mutations accumulate. So uh, if we compare our genomes to the uh, Y chromosome and the mitochondria of Adam and Eve, and we measure how much difference there is, and if we know the rate of the molecular clock, then we can calculate how long ago Adam and Eve lived. That's the, that's the basic concept. And um, my colleague Rob Carter and I have been studying this using a very straightforward use of the molecular clock using the known mutation rates for the Y chromosome and the mitochondrial chromosome, and, uh, and knowing the actual, how many mutations have accumulated since Adam and Eve. And what we see is we get very biblical dates, both for Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. and, we, and it's very important that those are two separate calculations and, and based upon two very different chromosomes. And so they, they both agree and give us biblical dates which is really exciting. The conventional uh, evolutionary uh, scientists would use a somewhat different method of using the molecular clock. They don't use the actual known mutation rate, which is something we can measure in the present. Instead, they use a the theoretical mutation rate. It's a mutation rate that's actually tenfold off in terms of it's tenfold slower. So they're like they've chosen to use a molecular clock that's only theoretical. There's no data for it. They just um, have a theoretical basis assumed a mutation rate that's tenfold too low. Which lengthens the time. It, it gives you a date that's <laughs> roughly tenfold longer than yeah. the straightforward use of the molecular clock. And so um, the way they calculate the theoretical uh, clock is it's based upon evolutionary assumptions. So they say, we know that humans diverged from chimpanzees about six million years ago. And so we do our calculations based upon how long that, um, how many mutations have accumulated during that time. And then uh, they you know, divide by six million and they come up with a, a mutation rate. Mm -hmm. But it's based upon not measured mutation rates in the present, it's based upon historical assumptions and inferences. So it's not a reliable way of dating, which is why their dates jump around. Mm -hmm. Their dates have changed dramatically over the years. Um, most significantly, the most recent dates show that uh, even by evolutionary uh, dating methods, that Adam and Eve lived at the same period of time, roughly. Wow. So there's no problem with Adam and Eve uh, having uh, lived in the same era and been married and given rise to children.